Hello everybody, I am the Spearman, the embracer of human good and analyst of fiction. And uh, this Kingdom Hearts 4 reveal trailer just suddenly dropped the fuck out of nowhere. And right before I was going to um, put together another little tangled short vid that I've been posting on the Amateur Masters channel a lot in the past couple weeks, I'm really glad that so many of you are enjoying those. But for now, um, I wanted to, you know... Um, make a couple of vids in regards to this Kingdom Hearts 4 news. The first video I made was a brief, rather angry reaction to this announcement because, yeah, I fe feel it's too fucking soon to announce this big, very well-anticipated game, especially considering how, how long or how soon it's going to be before its release. I am a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, as you can probably tell. The original Kingdom Hearts game is still one of the best video games of all time. Fantastic. Very underrated, even 20 years later, and I can't wait to make a review or review set of this game alone for the Kingdom Hearts Marathon event that we've got planned here on the Amateur Masters YouTube channel. Very looking forward to that. Kingdom Hearts 2, um, very, very good. It's got some major problems, but still holds up pretty solid, pretty well, more than 15, 16 years later. And then Kingdom Hearts 3, man, what a colossal fuck-up. At its best and worst, it is painfully, painfully mediocre, and that's going to get its own very special review or review set when the Kingdom Hearts Marathon does arrive. Hopefully just before 2022 ends, not 100% sure, but um, we'll get to that when we get to that. So for now, I'm just going to make a quick raw reaction to the Kingdom Hearts 4 reveal trailer. There was a time when I used to, you know, download the YouTube videos and uh, synchronize them with m my reaction to the screen uh, simultaneously in reaction videos, but YouTube downloading has apparently changed a lot since I last used it for those reaction vids or for other videos that I've used YouTube vid videos for before. Alright, no more of my typical babbling. Um, Let's react to this epic surprise reveal trailer of Kingdom Hearts 4 and on on around the 20th anniversary of all times, of course. Woo. Okay, here. Let me see. That volume is great. Okay, here we go. The Lost Master Arc. Japanese trailer, by the way. Gee, sounds like Kingdom Hearts 3 to me. <laughs> then leave, leave this world for another. Your options are endless. There's something there saying development footage, more to be made or something. The heart resides within the soul, which in turn is guided by fate to its rightful place. Good words, good words. And Holy shit. Holy shit. This animation looks fucking amazing. This world and everything, the atmosphere, everything looks, looks fucking amazing. And there is Sora. With a doorbell ringing out of the corner of his ear. <laughs> He's not wearing shoes. I just noticed that. Or so socks. We've got some special, special girl here. Quadratum. Afterworld, right. Gojira! Ooh, Gojira! Gojira! Bahamut! Dark side, whatever! <coughs> People on their cell phones. And... Keyblade! Classic Keyblade, fuck yeah! Look at this, look at this. It looks fucking cool, I, I, I cannot deny that. It looks fucking cool. I 
to expand the sort of skill set for the very beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3, but here, I guess it works. And who are these guys? Kingdom Hearts 4. But wait, where's our Disney? Where is our Disney? Who is he? Magic in the making. In other words, wait another couple or so fucking years before this actually comes out. Recap video of this event will be at a later date. Okay, let me go back to Sora's epic, um, aggressive face, action face, right there. Okay. Whew! So, that was Kingdom Hearts 4 Reveal Trailer. It's, uh, it's pretty good, but first of all, this announcement, as far as I'm concerned, it's come out way too soon, unless, unless Kingdom Hearts 4 is, is going to come out in the next year or two. I swear to God, if this is just another three, four, five year waits, or even longer waits, with this trailer coming out at this time in 2022, I am gonna fucking blow it a gasket. I mean, by now, we are all sick and tired of the premature announcement stuff that Square Enix has done countless times for years now. But as it is now, um, this reveal trailer is pretty good and very ambiguous and very grounded, I would say. The animation looks fucking fantastic. It looks fucking amazing. They, they really upped their game in, in that regard. I mean, with Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, um... That clearly was like a final glorious send-off to the to the classic sixth generation character designs and and world atmosphere aesthetic and so on um, that carried on into the eighth generation consoles with uh, PS4 and Xbox One and then eventually Nintendo Switch because apparently we have to have Kingdom Hearts on every major console out there. Even though there's little to no Disney stuff in this trailer, I. I really am hoping that we do get a good balance between Disney stuff and uh, exclusive stuff of Kingdom Hearts exclusive stuff when it comes to the main Kingdom Hearts 4 game. And um, I, at this point, I don't really care. I don't care so much what new or even old Disney worlds are included in the main game. I'm, I'm fine with going for whatever the hell you want in regards to new Disney worlds as, as long as you expand it beyond just the newer ones, the contemporary ones, that people are too familiar with and people still talk about in the past five or ten years. Have the great mouse detective in there for the fuck of it. Why not? Maybe ha try having the Black Cauldron in there. Or Narnia, I guess. Or bed knobs and Broomsticks or Mary Poppins. I, I really don't give a fuck. Just expand your new Disney worlds apart from the typical, most expected choices imaginable. And if you bring back some old Disney worlds, fine, as long as you don't overdo it, as long as you don't um, keep us stuck in those old Disney worlds for so long with their stories and so on. Well, I've gone on long enough. Um, probably didn't cover even close to enough as, I'm, as much as I wanted to as I'm putting this together, but... Oh well, um, I'm happy enough to expressing my uh, rough thoughts. Looking forward to releasing some more Tangled short vids and other Amateur Masters content in the very near future. And yeah, thank you for sticking around with me for this reaction slash review everything video. Um, ho hopefully you like my short little angry video from the other day too. <laughs> but anyway, um, this was fun and this was, um, despite my concerns and all, I'm I am very optimistic, I am very hopeful that this will all turn out for the best in the end, and Bizarro Guy sort of shares my optimism as well, as he will clearly say in his video. And yeah, 
Okay, everyone. Um, see you all in more Amateur Master vids in the very near future. I am the spirit man, the embracer of human good, and analyst of fiction. And see you all, guys, in more Amateur Masters content very, 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 very soon. Take care, everybody.